to Bree first. Welcome back to another episode of Zoo Tank Boys. I just got home from work, put a couple of new torches in the aquarium, and guess what? They've been looking good. So I wanted to show you guys a quick little update, nothing fancy. Been in here since probably less than a week, and they're fluffy, they look happy. Don't forget to smash that like, subscribe. It lets me know that you like what you're seeing. And y'all, I cannot wait to keep adding corals. So enough talking, let's go. All right, Reed, first, so I am back. So I just got home from work. And if you guys watched the last episode, you could already tell we got some new corals. So one of my favorite corals, guys, is torches. And if you guys have been following the channel, um, a couple months ago when I first set this aquarium up, um, I burned a bunch of torches with my beautiful Radeon. So the two on the outside, I believe, are XR15s. They're all XR15s, but the two on the outside are Gen 5. The middle is a Gen 6 blue. And I was giving them way too much par, and I did not acclimate uh, my torches. So I believe I, I believe I killed them. Not just that, um, I still think the tank was kind of new, even though it was new, but it wasn't. So, real quick, just got home from work. I put these new torches in here a couple of days ago, my days off. Um, so they've kind of settled in the aquarium nicely. This little guy's been here for a while. If you guys want to leave a comment and let me know. What the name of that torch is. I call it just an Indo Gold. I've heard Hellfire. I've heard God knows how many names. Um, but he's in the process of splitting, if you guys can kind of see there. I got this one from one of my buddies. It's looking pretty good. But I picked up these two torches. That one, that the person called it a Dragon Tamer. I don't know. I know about torches, but lately, I mean, there's been so many variants or whatnot. Can you guys see that? Look at that hair algae. So I have been fighting hair algae. Um, that's that's another conversation. Here we have what I want to say she said was either a cotton candy or a lemon lime torch. I don't know, but it looks amazing. And I picked these two up from two local reefers. So and I got, I got such a great deal. So ultimately, guys, these these are reasons as to why buying corals locally is worth it you get really great deals most of them are aquacultured um couple things i haven't even wiped the glass glass is a little dirty but i wanted to update you guys because if if i wait for the perfect moment i want to i won't put a video for a long time so hair algae up there you can kind of see it's a little nasty i'd love to get me a tamini tang i do have to do a water change um but everything is looking really really good look at this guy space invader guys huge i picked them up as a little frag let me back up so you get an idea i picked them up as a little frag when i had the red sea i want to say it was 350 um and he's going out almost into it i mean i'd call him a colony i'd call him a colony so that i can't wait for him to keep growing and this this coral um has been super hardy knock on wood i haven't really had any issues with it the euphilias are massive back there. You see the Black Widow. One of these days, I'm gonna do a dedicated top-down shot so you can really get an idea of how big this one is. This one has broken off into so many different colonies. I have fragged that gold hammer God knows how many times. Um, I, I remember a couple months ago, I traded in, I think it was like 10 heads to one of my LFSs. This one, Splatter OG. This thing has been with me so long, gone through in and outs. I noticed um, the less flow, the happier he is. So I got him in that corner, just like my other Euphilias. And that's as big as he's ever been. Um, there's even an Aptasia down there, if you could see it. But this tank is doing pretty good. I am going to be adding a really nice Zoa garden, as you guys can see. I'm pretty light on the Zoas. I have one, two, three, four... Five little clusters of zoas, maybe oh, another scrambled eggs back here. So I don't have a lot of zoanthids, so I'm definitely gonna stock up. Frank doing great. Overall, guys, lights have been on almost all day. Right now it's six o'clock here in Orlando. Let me reset the filter. 
It's, it's about six o'clock here in Orlando and everything looks pretty fluffy. So Zoanth is definitely coming. That Duncan colony back there, pick that up from a local reefer and it's been growing like a beast. I love when the aquarium looks full of coral and you don't see rock. So that's gonna be the ultimate goal. The Mimic Ting doing fantastic. Back there, guys, huge. Super weird things. You see the Nori clips are empty? But when I'm here, never see him eat Nori. He'll eat fish left and right. He'll eat um, mice, frozen food left and right. Um, but for some reason, I never see him eat Nori. But the two clips every day are gone. And I doubt my one purple tank is crushing it. So, but yeah, I wanted to give you guys a quick little update. What do you guys think? They're getting less than 200 pars right now. And I know with torches, the, the, I've been told the more light they get, that you know, the more colors come out. And maybe I'll little by little acclimate them to, high, to a higher spectrum. But right now, I'm just loving the way they look. I want to figure out a way to add maybe one or two more torches. But as you guys can see, Space Invader is right there. And if I put another torch even right around here, I mean, that's way too close for comfort. And I also don't want to disturb this little guy here. So maybe I'll add another little island. I used to have a little ledge right there. Maybe that'll be something I do and put a torch up there. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know. Look at this beach bum. Has a little bit of sand on him. This might be the most orange, vibrant beach bum I've seen. And this one has gone through the ringer. Um, I've noticed what makes them color up is low light and high nitrates. Nitrates in, this in the aquarium are about 25 to 50. And look at the coloration. Ghanis, doing great. Um, for the longest, I had trouble with Ghanis. Um, dosing magnesium, calcium, alkalinity, and also spot feeding these guys. Ghani power has definitely changed the game. I do have to get some reefroids because I know they like reefroids as well. But there's a lot of room for corals. Tons of room for coral, which I love. But not going to be a super long video, guys. I might not even do an intro because I really do want to get this video out. I just wanted to give you all a quick little update on these torches because I picked them up over the weekend um, and I really haven't had a moment to update you guys, but that guy back there, I'll be honest, when I first saw him, I thought it was a, a, a holy grail. I thought it was a holy grail, and the lady was like, no. And then I thought it was a Rapunzel, and she was like, no, it's a dragon tamer. So leave a comment. Let me know if you're familiar with these corals. Um, again, love this guy. Love this guy. Um, I have been wanting to get a Jester Insanity. My thing is, it looks like this, but it's a little brighter. And I have been duped before where I buy the torch, the same torch twice because the rep kind of tricked me and told me. I mean, I remember we were at our frag swap and this guy told me it was a holy grail and I was still green. Rookie in the hobby, me and Hector Bottom. Um, we came home and they were dragon, dragon souls, I think, or hellfires. I think that's what they told me this was. They said it was either a hellfire or a orange peel it's kind of hard to keep up with all the names but i'm loving the flow i love 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 the dimensions of this tank i always say it in the last video i said that i wanted to get a yellow tang i still do can i get away with it i don't know i don't know do i want to risk the harmony that i have in here and potentially cause a war i don't but i would love to see a yellow tang in here not sure if I'd love it more than the purple, but a yellow tang would really add that color that I've always loved. I also want a blue spotted jawfish. Let me see if I could spot. I got a lawnmower blenny because my LFS told me that they eat algae, but those suckers haven't ate crap. Look at this crap right here. Not only don't they eat, they don't eat algae, those suckers are mean. All they do is fight with my diamond goby down there, and I'm not going to have that. So I appreciate you guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. 
I will be buying new coral to stock this puppy up. And maybe I'll get risky. Maybe I'll get dangerous and figure out if I want to add a yellow tang. Definitely want to add a clam as well. Top down shots will be coming soon. Um, but today I literally got home from work, fed the dogs. They're kind of over there chilling. And I was like, dude, I got to get this video out because these storages are looking sweet. So, all right, y'all. Appreciate it. Hope y'all like the video. Hope y'all have a great week. All right, Reed First, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zola Tank Boys. You know I can't end this video without giving one of you guys a shout out. So I'm going to put that comment right here. I'm tired. It's been a long day. But reefing never stops. Stay on top of your water changes. Um, but yeah, tons of updates. Appreciate the support. Until next time, Zola Tank Boys out.